Okay, and we are now on to the Dreamcast era of uh, Sonic games they're going to be choosing for Sonic Generations. And to start with uh, Sonic Adventure, they have chosen Speed Highway. Now, I uh, I don't know what I feel about this one, okay? Because, um, like, obviously it's not really a case here, but the remaining, the remaining levels that they've chosen, a lot of them are actually, you know, you've probably heard a lot of Sonic fans talk about this, a lot of them are city-themed, you know? And I don't want, that doesn't bug me that much, but the thing is, if they omitted this one level, for some reason, if they omitted this one level, and you know, made it non-city theme, then I don't think it would bug me at all, to be honest. Um, but yeah, and that is really weird, because if I had to pick a favourite level from Sonic Adventure 1, it would be fucking Speed Highway. Um, as you all know, the Dreamcast holds a very, very special place in my heart, and Sonic Adventure was the first game I ever played for that console, and, um, but yeah, it, it itself, you know, it is a fantastic level, and has a lot of unique sort of, um, things that they could use for it, but, I don't know, the more I think about it, the more I realise there's no point in complaining, because it's an amazing level, and I can't wait to see it, and we haven't actually seen a single bit of footage from it yet, I have a feeling when they do release footage, I'll watch it, and, like, it'll be, fuck it. I'm looking forward to it. It looks amazing. That's what I'll be thinking, you know. Um, but yeah, apart from that, stuff that they could use, you know, obviously these rockets, which were used quite a bit in a Sonic Adventure. Um, one thing I hope they do do, this is something they did in Sonic Unleashed with uh, Empire City. Uh, they had you running along wall, running along the skyscrapers a lot in that level. And this is That's something that you did in this level as well. I hope they sort of like take advantage of that. You know that? running along the skyscrapers, because that I think that'll be awesome. Um, well, you will be running along something, because this is pretty much the whole reason they probably picked this level. This section right here. Yeah, the first time you do this, in fact, every time you play it, you'll, you know, you just absolutely love it. It's probably one of the reasons why it's my favourite level, and again, this it's definitely the reason why they've uh, wanted to recreate this level for generations, you know, that they will undeniably be. Um, exploiting this section. Anyway, I hope they make it longer because it's a real, uh, it's a real quick, you know, jolt, so to speak. Right. One other thing I hope they do though is that, okay, this is like, a, you know, that section we were just in, you know, the beginning of the level. Uh, I hope they make that sort of like the modern section with that music. And as for this section, you know, which is the more sort of exploration part of the level with different music, I hope they make this part of the level, you know, the classic section. That would be sweet because I don't know this level, this um, this music right here just screams more a uh, classic Sonic to me. And uh, I couldn't keep on the wall there, sadly. Um, but yeah, that's 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 what I think they should do. But yeah, either way, again, you know, this is my favorite level in this game. Um, once I see it, I'll, all my doubts about it will probably all the city themed levels and shit will probably go away. But yeah. In any case, Speed Highway for Sonic Adventure and the epic pose has been ruined with Tails phasing into Sonic, but in any case, that's that. Okay, another city-themed level, uh... Oh wait, it's THIS city-themed level, okay. Now guys, say what you will, but in my personal opinion, this level right here is just as important to the Sonic series as Green Hill Zone. Because, you know, obviously it was Sonic's 10th anniversary game, and this is the level that pops up when you first start, and... You know what? No matter what type of Sonic fan you are, whether you're the, this idiotic child who thinks games like Sonic 06 and Shadow the Hedgehog are good, or you're this, like, raging, um, 2D purists who thinks anything that isn't completely like Sonic's Mega Drive games is god-awful, no matter what type of Sonic fan is, you know what this song is, and you love it. Okay? I don't think anybody can deny that. But yeah, uh, this level in Green Hill Zone though, uh, they're the levels that have been showed off the most uh, in terms of gameplay and like Green Hill Zone I have really spoiled absolutely everything uh, that this level has to offer so I've seen, yeah again I've seen everything. Uh, the modern section opens up with Sonic skidding down the sort of San Francisco hills, uh, looks absolutely amazing. Uh, the remixes of the song are also great, they've still got the lyrics in that end. Uh, this part's in the level, I remember that much. And, uh, yeah. I don't think, no, I don't think, other than on the, uh, other than on the skateboard, you can go up those ramps there. Oh, yes, yeah, and grinding rails, that's where this was introduced, uh, first introduced, and I can never get this thing. Never. 
But uh, yeah, like Green Hill Zone, you know, there isn't much to say, you know, this should be, this deserves to be in the game by friggin' default, you know. It's not actually my favourite level in the game, neither is Green Hill Zone when we're talking about Sonic 1, but in terms of what it just friggin' deserves and what game you should use to just represent uh, the title as a whole, you couldn't get any better than a city escape, you really couldn't. Yeah, these little platforms here, they're gonna be in the level. And the woman attack failed on me there and I died. Joy! And I'm all the way back here. Fire somersault. Oh, and Omo Chow is going to be in Generations. Yeah, I can understand why Omo Chow has a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, haters. You know, I personally love him, and he just screams, you know, like nostalgia for me. I'm quite glad I missed the invincibility there, actually, because I want City Escape to stay on. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Fucking shit. And of course, here's another important signature element that they're going to be. They've actually, actually, really abused the struck thing. I think. You know, it's all, it's all over the levels. If only you could roll into a ball of generations and just outrun it completely. Right, looky here. By the way, you see Big the Cat there. They better include a lot of Big the Cat cameos in Generations. I want to see him in every level. You know, just sitting there and, yeah. I think that would be funny. Yes. Right, and, uh, that's that. City Escape. Absolutely no complaints from me whatsoever. So, yeah. Awesome. Well, just my me. rank wasn't awesome, but, yeah. Okay, and to finish off the Dreamcast era, we have Seaside Hill from... Sonic Heroes. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna bitch about the fact that this game isn't a Dreamcast game yet, it's been part of that particular era. I mean, it did just come out right after it, and apparently it is uh, running off the same engine, uh, from what I've heard. Uh, by the way, right off the bat, I just want to say that, like, this section has been completely recreated in this level, you know, I've seen the footage, you know, this whole, with arrows on the ground and then the triple loop there on, it looks absolutely superb. Uh, but yeah, Sonic Heroes is a game I actually really, really enjoy. Um, I don't think it's as good as Adventure 1 and 2, but it's it's not that it's, like, really far away either, I think it's quite close, I, I enjoy it a lot. Um, it's going to be good to go through this level with just Sonic, you know, classic and modern, though. Uh, that's another thing I'm looking forward to. One thing I like, though, and uh, they're doing this with, um, I guess, all of them, all the levels, I guess you could say, uh, they're taking elements from both Seaside Hill and Ocean Palace, you know. I mean, essentially, they're, they were just like Act 1 and Act 2 of uh, that, of the sort of theme, you know, so yeah, you're going to be on Seaside Hill and Ocean Palace, so... There's going to be the sort of beach theme, uh, with the classic, you know, checkerboard design. As well as, you know, like, a uh, sea temple and stuff. And apparently this is going to be the level's other, um, underwater level, along with, um, you know, uh, chemical plant zone. And here was me sort of, um, screwing up here. I completely forgot you were supposed to go in that cannon as, uh, Knuckles, and you'll go right in there. Get up there, or should I say. Um, but yeah, uh, once again this level looks absolutely gorgeous and uh, Generations looks sweet and in terms of what, um, in terms of picking a level to represent a game, yeah, it's, it was, what else could you have picked I suppose, but I say that, but here's the thing though, this level gets used all the friggin' time, it's in, it's in Sega Superstars Tennis, it's in Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, it's in... Mario and Sonic at the Winter Olympics, and I'm pretty sure it's in the uh, regular Olympics as well. So yeah, Sega definitely pushes uh, Seaside Hill quite a bit. So in a way, it's kind of like, we've seen enough of this level, you know, why don't you do something else? You know, like, one of my favourite levels would be like Grand Metropolis or Real Canyon from Sonic Heroes. Um, you know, I'm not complaining about it too much, but uh, that's, just, that's just me thinking about it out loud. You know, this level will still be sweet, I'm sure. Um, a friend of mine reckons that, you know, it's all because they're trying to push Seaside Hill as, like, the next Green Hill Zone, or at least the next Green Hill Zone of this particular era, which, you know, makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'm, I just recorded Seaside Hill, I was going to do Ocean Pass as well, but I would have uh, ran the video, well, the footage, a bit too long. 
So it's just Seaside Hill, but yeah. Again, there's a lot of things that they could uh, reuse for this game. Which will be sweet. And I'm about to die in a bit. I chose not to go up to that higher bit because I wanted to run along the beach because I hope that's something they recreate. And here I died. Shit. Grr. And I'm all the way back here. Yeah, I'm surprised they don't use the classic, you know, checkerboard design uh, more often in uh, other games, you know? Well, they did use it in Sonic 4, but I don't think they've used it that much in modern games that much. At all. I mean, obviously, it's just a little, like, nod to a Green Hill Zone. Uh, but still, yeah, classic checkerboard stuff is pretty sweet, and obviously it's going to be in Generations in both Green Hill Zone and... Uh, Sonic Heroes. Okay. Yeah, I hope they do the sort of like bomb sled, and um, I guess the cannons would be really nice as well. This cannon right here, yeah. Yeah, Sonic Heroes is a really, really good game. Um, I understand the fan base is kind of mixed on it, but I genuinely think it's fantastic. All three of them went through. Got it. Leave it to me. Yeah. Again, not much else to say. Uh, yeah, looking forward to the level. Oh yeah, here's a bit here coming up that I do hope they recreate though. Um, the wheels are going to be used, you know, like the wheels and all that. Yeah, they've they've been shown off. Will be about. But yeah, this big, huge, massive... Oh wait, we're not there yet. Never mind. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. Well, this is me playing, I guess. I'm doing post-commentary, for those of you wondering. Would be cool to see this recreated as well? Maybe? And you know, here we go back on the bobsled. Yeah, that big, huge, massive loop in the distance there, did you see that? We're about to go through it, but yeah, recreate that, Sega, that would be fucking amazing. Uh, not this big, huge, massive loop, the other big, huge, massive loop that we're about to see. I really do like the style of the sort of, like, a uh, temple. You know, it really looks nice. Yeah, this big, huge, massive look. Obviously, don't have Tails saying his head is spinning, but it would be, it would still be really cool. And just to finish this level off, we got a nice little team blast. Which, of course, they probably won't be implementing into Generations because you're only playing as one Sonic. But, yeah. But, yeah, that's that. Seaside Hill. Looking pretty good, so yeah. Hmm, no problem.